Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 17th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see the storm system across the Gulf of Alaska here, spreading some clouds up over across the Pacific Northwest. We're gonna swing a weak frontal system through here on Monday morning, and then another one, an upper level low is gonna drop down across the area, set up over California, Nevada before it pushes off east. And we're gonna build a ridge behind that, potentially warming us up again for a bit but it might not be long lasting as the European wants to show another trough coming in pretty quickly after that. And then maybe an active later portion of September coming up here. We'll take a look at those details here in a moment as well. This is looking at total swell height and direction. You can see as we go towards the day Monday, some of the waves from that storm system are gonna to start to arrive across Vancouver Island down the Washington, Oregon coastline there. So yeah, typical fall stuff here as we start to roll through the fall season, we see more of this wave activity ongoing. But yeah, interesting there. So if you're out on the coastline, heads up for that during the day Monday. Now taking a look here, this is yesterday afternoon. Look at as I back up here, you can see the plume coming off the Olympic Mountains there and it really bubbled up there and produced some pyrocumulus clouds off the Olympic Mountains and that smoke spreading northbound and you can see some additional fire activity across the North Cascades and then that cloud shield started to come in as the sun started to set. And I did catch that on time lapse if you guys missed that. This is from the drone here and you can kind of see that pyrocumulus cloud spreading a lot of smoke. Pretty intense fire there. I can't remember ever seeing a pyrocumulus cloud like this over the Olympic Mountains in my time. Doesn't mean it hasn't happened before, but you know, I've been here about 15 years now. I haven't seen this much smoke coming off the Olympics. If we scroll ahead here, you can see my zoomed in view of that smoke coming off the Olympic Mountains there as well with the Puget Sound in the foreground. This is looking at Seattle yesterday, 78 degrees, 6 degrees above average. No precipitation, trying to squeeze a little bit out of these next two systems before we potentially turn more active here towards the end of September. More on that here in a moment. If you want to save 10% off, a nice affordable home weather station stores all the data for you in the cloud. It's all solar powered. It's all wireless. There's no batteries or anything like that you have to worry about. Click on that link down below to save 10% off. Check it out. Spokane National Weather Service always with the good graphics. Patchy blowing dust Monday afternoon and evening. Drive with caution out there. Highway 2, 395. Interstate 90 and for Eastern Oregon. Something similar. Got the red flag warning. Hot, dry, and windy today and Monday. So watch out. You know, things can go up quickly. This is the elevated fire risk across eastern Washington, Oregon. This brown hatched area down here is isolated dry thunderstorms. It does include Medford, Southern Oregon, and Northern California. Even some critical fire danger there across portions of Montana, including Great Falls. This is day two. Again, elevated east of the Cascades and isolated dry down across California. Air quality alert. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know about that forest fire activity down there across Southern Oregon here for the last couple months. So that continues on. Now we're looking at the European. This is the zero 06Z run. So you can see that system kind of swinging by here, the short wave going to cool us down. It's actually cooling us down as we speak with that cloud cover. But then the upper level low comes down across the area here. And then you can kind of see that ridge build. Maybe a couple warm days, but the European brings in another a little potent trough here pretty quickly as we go through the day Friday. And that's when this run ends. 144 hours, the 06C GFS control. This is looking at the GFS though. Last night's run, same map, 500 millibars. There goes the weak system swinging by, cooling us down, the fire danger with that increased gradient. Then you bring down this upper level low across the region. We build the ridge here, and we're going to warm back up again a bit here next week. GFS slower with this next trough's arrival, but you can see it uh, digs out a pretty good trough as we go towards the end of September, and this would have some precipitation potential here, some heavy precipitation for some areas as we go through the end of September, but it's purely a fantasy forecast right now, but it's a nice signal to see. As you can see, taste of fall may be coming towards the end of September. Looking at the GFS a little bit closer here, this is six hour precipitation. You can see BC, Washington, Oregon as we go through. You can see this uh, first front kind of dry here. It does bring some precip for the Cascades and some of the BC area, higher terrain, some of the Rocky Mountains. Then that upper level low kind of comes down across the area. Probably a little bit better chance of precipitation for some areas with that. Upper level low spinning, taking its time to move out. And then that deeper trough sets up and you can see some atmospheric river activity up and down the Washington coast line here up into British Columbia here as you get uh, multiple systems rolling through. Kind of fantasy right now. We're going to not worry about those individual systems. We'll just kind of watch that trend as that trough has been showing off the coastline. Looking at Seattle yesterday, um, actually this is for uh, yesterday afternoon's ensemble run. You can see all 50 ensemble members here and a few of them do have some gusty solutions in here and kind of typical fall stuff as we look off into the future of September. Um, yeah, so that's kind of... Uh, uh, interesting. If you want to see fall storms, the GFS and the European are agreeing that we do have a better chance as we move through September coming up here.
But again, we'll watch that daily. Now, here goes our next two systems as we go through the day Monday and then early on Wednesday here. A little bit better chance at the European as well with precipitation as we go through the midweek period. And then you can see that little bit of a warm up here and then the potential return for some troughing and some even more powerful systems off in the future. This is the GFS, very similar picture here as well. Better chance of that secondary system coming through on the day Wednesday, a little bit of a break, and then the return of some systems rolling through the area. Now, looking at the national blend of models this is for today you can see you know maybe getting towards 70 degrees for seattle it depends on how that cloud layer moves through here but as we go through tomorrow you can see a little bit of a drop down tuesday something similar wednesday as that upper level low slides down across the area then we bounce back through thursday and friday you can see some 80s returning to willamette valley nice couple days here according to the national blend of models but the european like we saw last night tries to bring that trough in here pretty quick on the day friday so we'll watch that one closely as well and you can see as we go up through the extended no super hot days showing up doesn't mean it can't happen at this time of year but right now it's showing a little bit of a bump here but nothing too extreme Total snow, it's always fun to watch the first snowflakes show up in the models as you go through into early fall. And you can see this uh, European last night showing some of that across the higher terrain at BC, North Cascades, Rocky Mountains, upper level low across from the Sierra Nevada into Nevada, Idaho, maybe Yellowstone seeing its first snowfalls. Uh, first flakes of the year uh, was what I should say. A lot of this is going to be confined to the higher terrain. It probably looks a little bit worse than what it actually would be on those higher peaks. This is six to 10 day. And you can see a little bit of that above average here as that ridge tries to build in for a couple days. But you can see the main below average signal here across a lot of the West. And this is six to 10 day, generally above average. Eight to 14 day again with that signal all the way through the end of September here with the below average across the Western portion and the above average signal for precipitation through the end of September as well. This is the drought monitor here. Check out Washington. Again, some of Skagit, Whatcom and uh, Northern Snohomish County are under extreme drought we have a lot of severe and moderate drought across the area as well including oregon but look at california man that's kind of crazy there's almost no drought across the state nevada doing really well also idaho not doing bad also except for the panhandle but montana does have, have some extreme drought here as well so hopefully we can start eating into that here as we go through the fall months but anyway yeah some waves arriving from that a couple weak systems swinging through here and then the potential for some more stormy weather to come through the end of september and we'll watch that here as we go and we may even get a few warm days as we go through the end of next week as well we'll watch that also here day by day but anyway i hope you guys are liking these videos click like and subscribe um i'm working on the el nino video it's getting close it's almost done here and i may wait till tomorrow so i can get a little bit uh, more additional data here on just what the current uh and so 3.4 region temperatures are in the latest update and yeah i'll have that out in the next day or two and yeah i'll talk to you guys tomorrow at the latest